afternoon and happy Sunday for Sunday dinner I'm making lasagna here are my seasonings for it what I'm going to use is salt pepper and complete seasoning and onion powder and garlic powder add a salt and pepper now I'm going to add complete seasoning some onion powder and some garlic Oops. I think that'll be enough yeah there we go that's enough garlic now I'm going to cook this meat then I'm going to drain the oil off of it I'll be right back BC I'm going to cook the meat then I'll show you how I make the sauce okay BC I'm back I'm about to put the sauce together here are the two cans I'm going to use for cheese and traditional. I don't know how to make sauce from scratch, so this is my best option. First, I'm going to pour the four cheeses. Next, traditional. Next, I'm going to add some complete seasoning. Going to stir it. All right. Next, I'm going to add cheese. Don't worry, I'm going to add the rest. Don't worry, I'm going to add the rest. I'll be right back. I'm going to let this sit for 25 minutes and cook it up so the cheese will melt. Then I'm going to show you how I prep my lasagna. I'll be right back, BC. Okay, BC, I'm back. So I got my oven preheated and also my sauce is ready. Looks good. I tried it. It's delicious. Now here's my pan. It's a small bake pan. And here's my pasta noodles, the oven ready lasagnas. Tell me what your favorite br brands in the comment section a lasagnas you put in your that you make with your lasagna do you use the ones you have to boil I use these most of the time because it it's not it doesn't take up too much time I bought two of these Here's my first layer of lasagna.
be right back BCS. I forgot the most important ingredient. Deluxe cheese, American. I'm gonna layer it onto this, onto lasagna. Thank you, Dun Dun. Thank you. That's just Dun Dun, folks. <laughs> Next, I'll add another bit of sauce onto it. So I can mo so I can mo I'm gonna add a little bit of sauce onto the cheese part so I can add it onto the noodle part so it won't get so it can still have moisture. Here it is. Now it's gonna be in the oven for 30 to 35 minutes in this toast oven. We're gonna make sure it's finished, the noodles are cooked, the cheese is melted, then I'm gonna decorate. Next, I'm gonna work on my green beans from this pot. I'll be right back showing you how I make the green beans. All right, I'm gonna show you how I make the green beans. A can of green beans, some complete seasoning, onion powder, some sea salt, and some black pepper. I need to go back out and get more ground salt. First things first, I'm going to pour the, the juice into the pot. I'm going to season the juices and the juice from the French style green beans. And there's Dunny. Dun Dun, you turn that off for a minute. Okay then. Oh, she ain't gonna listen to me. Till it gets warm, so it starts heating up. Then I'll dump my green beans in them. I'll be right back. All right, here we are. It's finished. Next, I'm gonna put some garlic bread in the oven, and here's my green beans. They're ready. Next, I'm gonna add some part, a bit of parsley. Here we are, lasagna dinner finished. Green beans finished. Next in the stove oven, I'm gonna make a cake. First, our garlic bread. I'm gonna be watching these closely because this toast oven cooks fast. All right, I'll be right back. Bye. Here's Mama's plate for dinner tonight. I did a good job on the. It looks good. Green beans, a piece of French garlic bread, and in there. A red velvet cake okay everybody that's it for me like share and subscribe hit the bell and the notification and thumbs up and thank you for 59 subscribers tells us what you want us to cook and have a beautiful Sunday bye a blessed Sunday bye